people start coming out of the
together. Good afternoon, everyone. If you could bow your heads in prayer with me this, this day. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for today, this graduation celebration, which is a beautiful moment in all of our lives. Thank you for all of these graduates in this room, God, for their mental fitness, their determination to persevere through early mornings and late nights of studying, through hours in research and preparing for presentations. It's beautiful to see the fruits of all the hard work and growth in this room. God, I thank you for the physical fitness of these graduates. For all those on sports teams at King's, those that have a second home at the gym, those on the dance team and plays and on trails, continue to guide us in physical growth the rest of our lives. Thank you, Lord, for our spiritual fitness, for the ability to have priests right on campus, a beautiful church to pray in, and amazing students growing in faith together. I also thank you for the value that King's places on service, and I pray that we will use our new degrees and talents not only in our future jobs, but also to serve others. Lord, I know that you make nothing incidental, and I pray that the graduates here feel known and loved by you and this community at King's. Thank you for all those family, friends, faculty, staff, and others who have helped nurture them in mind, body, and spirit. Continue to lead them so that they can make the world a better place and live each day to the fullest. In your name we pray, amen.
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon. Your Excellency Bishop Joseph Bambera, Tracy Salingo, our honorary degree recipient and commencement speaker, Father President Thomas Looney, administration, faculty, staff, parents, family, friends, those joining us via live stream, and most importantly, our graduates. Welcome to King's College 74th Annual Commencement Ceremony. I'm so glad to be here today to celebrate this significant chapter in your lives, the completion of an academic journey that started many years ago. Today, it's a beautiful occasion to acknowledge how far you, the class of 2023, have come and to recognize your accomplishments. Now, since its founding in 1946, King's College has been committed to transforming both hearts and minds of our students. It is our hope that in the past four years, you've witnessed this mission in action and carry it with you as you mobilize your talents to serve the common good and improve the world around you. Now, I hope you've grown both spiritually and professionally and made great memories and lifelong friends. In a few moments, we will be applauding you as you, we call out your names and you walk across this stage to accept your diplomas. But before we do that, I'm gonna ask all of our graduates to please stand. Graduates. As I'm sure, sure you have experienced, this week went by fast, didn't it? Time will be different now, as your life will no longer be marked by semesters and milestones, both personal and professionals. Along the way, remember to take moments to soak in those special milestones. Take a moment now, look around at the robes you're wearing, at your classmates, the faculty, staff, coaches you've come to know, and most important, the family and friends who helped you make it here, many of them in attendance today. Graduates, please offer your applause as a show of appreciation to them for all they have done to you. So class of 2023, this is your moment. This is the beginning of your next journey. Congratulations and welcome to all. Thank you. Please be seated. Graduates, it is a real pleasure for me to be with you and your families today and to greet you on behalf of the Catholic community of Northeastern Pennsylvania. It is so good for us to be together today to celebrate the achievements of the class of 2023 of King's College. In these times that continue to challenge peace, the work of justice and respect for the lives of all of the creatures that God has created, we celebrate this day the power that God has planted within you in particular and all of us to overcome adversity, to recreate our world time and again, and to bring hope, light, and life through our openness to God's abiding presence. As a Catholic college, your alma mater has a unique place within the history of this local church of the Diocese of Scranton. Decades ago, one of my predecessors, William Hafey, turn to the Congregation of the Holy Cross to help create this great Catholic college. While King's has grown and flourished since its earliest days, at its core are Catholic values rooted in words that you have heard countless times before, 
and that I'm pleased to repeat to you today. King's teaches students not only how to make a living, but how to live. Graduates rooted in the values of King's College, our prayer today is that each of you of the class of 2023 will always see yourselves grounded in a deep belief in God and a profound respect for the human person, committed to the pursuit of knowledge, determined to promote justice, and dedicated to the gospel value of servant leadership. Finally, graduates, in whatever path of life you pursue, however your dreams and the plans of providence unfold in your lives, always look beyond yourselves and serve your sisters and brothers generously. In so doing, you will be a success and your life will be filled with meaning and purpose. May God richly bless you along with your families, friends, and the great community of King's College who have worked with you to bring about this great day of celebration and gratitude. Congratulations. Good afternoon and welcome, family and friends, faculty and staff, Bishop Bambera, Mr. Smith, Ms. Salingo, and Father Looney. My name is Anthony Macko and I'm the president for the class of 2023. It is my great honor to stand before you today and address you as a representative of this graduating class. I would like to start by thanking all of our family and friends who are gathered here with us for this momentous occasion. Without our support systems, who are so influential to the development of our lives, none of this would be possible. For that, we are eternally grateful for you. We also remember those who were so influential to the development of our lives who cannot be here with us today. But we remember the promises of Christ, and we remember that one day we will rejoice with them in heaven. To my fellow graduates, I would like to congratulate you on accomplishing something truly extraordinary. Our journey has not been an easy one. We navigated sophomore years six feet apart, but supported each other in our darkest hours. But we pushed through our challenging curricula together. We have risen to the challenges of our lives and have emerged stronger and more resilient because of it. Today, we stand victorious, exemplifying words like hard work, dedication, and perseverance. As you go forth from this venue today, I'd like to leave you with a challenge. And that challenge is to be a light that shines in the darkness of the world. Throughout your time here at King's College, you have been crafting and developing your understanding of meaning and purpose in your own lives. Now is the time that I encourage you to take the teachings of selfless service generosity, compassion, love, and hope, all core values of a King's College education, and spread them throughout your daily lives. Ladies and gentlemen, the world needs you right now. And God is calling you to make the world a better place and to make a positive difference in others' lives around you. Use this opportunity to shine a light into the darkness of the world. It is written in John's gospel, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Let us make the most of the time that we have and live with purpose, passion, and inspire and uplift others. In doing so, we can create a life that is rich in meaning and leave a legacy for those long after we are gone. The past is history, the future is a mystery but the present is a gift. So I encourage you to step out into the great adventure of your lives, the beautiful and precious lives that God has given each and every one of you. 
and shine a light into the darkness of the world. I will leave you with this final quote from Pope Benedict XVI. The world promises you comfort, but you were not made for comfort, you were made for greatness. Class of 2023, it has been an honor to be your class president. Good luck in all of your future endeavors. Ave Crux Spes Unica, hail the cross, our only hope. At this time, I have the honor of introducing our commencement speaker, Tracy Slingo. A native of Luzerne County, Tracy holds a Master of Arts in Advertising from the S.I. Newhouse School of Public Communication at Syracuse University, and a Bachelor of Arts in Communication from the University of Scranton. Tracy worked for marketing agencies in New York and Philadelphia before returning to Northeastern Pennsylvania to start her own business. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Tracy identified an opportunity to connect two groups of people who were severely impacted by the pandemic. Local restaurants and food insecure residents who struggled to find quality meals for their families. Tracy founded the nonprofit organization Fork Over Love, where she now serves as volunteer CEO. To date, Fork Over Love has served nearly 44,000 dinners and reinvested hundreds of thousands of dollars in our local restaurant economy. Its growing network includes dozens of restaurants, host locations, volunteers, and nonprofit and faith-based collaborators. Tracy's work exemplifies the college's vision to form graduates who will champion the inherent dignity of every person and mobilize their talents and professional skills to serve the common good. Please join me in welcoming our speaker, Tracy Slingo. Father Looney, Chairman of the Board, Tom Smith, Bishop Bambera, members of the Board, faculty, and the King's College community, thank you for this incredible honor. I am beyond grateful, and I will admit, completely shocked to receive this gift and to be elevated from a Scranton royal to a King's monarch. Thank you. My husband, Dave, is a graduate of the class of 89. You are not the only monarch in the house anymore. <laughs> Graduates, based on my experience, I can tell you that it will feel great to walk across this stage and receive your degree. And I know that's good news because it's been quite a ride for you, hasn't it? You arrived here four years ago during a time when you could, say, safely gather in a basement and toast the week without wearing a mask. And then, whoosh, that rug was pulled out from underneath you. You were stripped of your newfound freedom, sent back home to navigate a classroom that was literally zooming in place for months. You experienced struggle in some way, shape, or form and the school you eventually returned to looked nothing like the one you left behind. And yet, here you are. You endured it, and as far as I can tell, you crushed it. And the reason why I know that is because you are here. You are here today. Congratulations. Today is a very big day, and come tomorrow, you begin again. I'm sure some of you have a plan, and others don't. And it doesn't matter that much at all, because the world has a plan for you. 
and it's already unfolding. It's been unfolding since the day you were born. Your only role in this plan is to keep moving forward. And the best way to keep moving forward is to make choices that feel good in your bones. To do things that light you up. To aim for joy over and over again. And in the process, to have the courage to walk away from anything, and I mean anything, that does not serve you. This will happen. Your courage will be tested. And when it is, you'll need to trust yourself and your connection to the divine source of power within you. When you align to this source of power, you can move mountains. This power is love in action. And here's the thing. It's why you're here in this arena today. You chose to tether yourself to this power when you chose kings. You selected a school that promises, and I'm quoting, graduates will champion the inherent dignity of every person and will mobilize their talents and professional skills to serve the common good. You chose that. And it was a great choice to make. Everything that you experienced over the past four years is part of the path behind you and within you. It's part of your grand plan, whatever that may be. And I'll tell you my little secret. My paths never made sense to me. I went to a Jesuit university, even though I was not very religious. I went into advertising because I thought it was a way to be paid well to write, which is something I've loved doing my whole life. But when I started my career, I was not paid well at all, and I experienced food insecurity for the first time. It was exhausting, and it was scary. I didn't want anyone to know. Eventually, I chose to leave New York and slowly made my way back home. And in the midst of this, I met my husband, Dave. A few years later, we got engaged. The same month, I was accepted into a Penn State's PhD program in communications. So I said no to that, and I said yes to him, which was hands down the best choice I've ever made in my life. Eventually, we moved back here to our hometown to start our family in a place where we knew our children would be deeply connected to their grandparents. And by that, I mean, where we, would, we, where we knew we would have the help that we needed to raise them. I started my advertising agency so that I could raise my babies. And when those two went off to kindergarten, I felt utterly lost. So I dove into spirituality because part of me knew deeply that I couldn't possibly be as lost as I felt. And it turns out I wasn't. I started sharing those lessons with other women in a similar spot. And now today, I'm receiving an honorary doctorate in humanities. I didn't need to go to Penn State and study communications. I needed to use my skills in communications and spirituality to mobilize fork over love. But I didn't start fork over love because I had a grand plan. I started it because I asked for a sign, I received it, and I trusted the universe would have my back. Fork Over Love started as a question that floated into my heart in May of 2020. How can so many kitchens be closing in our area and so many more people be in need of food? And I quickly walked that question from my heart to my head and I placed it in the compartment where fear lives. And fear was like, don't worry sister, I got this one, I'm gonna snuff it out. This is way too big for you. But that question continued to bob up and down between my heart and my head for nine months. Countless conversations were had, and yet I was still paralyzed with fear. On December 23rd, I told Dave that I couldn't believe nothing was being done in our area to help restaurants and residents. And he said, maybe that's because you're the person who needs to do it. And I replied, I don't know how to do it. And he said, when will you learn that you don't need to have all the answers. 
You just need to find the people who do. It was like a giant light switch was turned on within me. Still not enough though. So I went to bed that night and I dialed up the universe. And I said, I'm not sure why you keep chasing me with this issue, but okay. If you give me an unmistakable sign first thing in the morning, preferably before I finish my first cup of coffee, I'll do it. I won't hesitate another minute. I'll get it started. But you must leave me alone if you don't give me a sign. Following day, I rolled out of bed, I made my cup of coffee, I grabbed my phone, and I checked my email. And I saw a message from someone I think you all know, for the former president, Father Thomas O'Hara. He's seated in the back today. And that email read, Tracy, somehow in my early prayer this morning, you came prominently into my thoughts. So know today that you are in my prayers. I value our friendship. There is an unmistakably welcoming, loving, and insightful spirit within you. I was like, dear God. That was it. Unmistakable marching orders unknowingly channeled through Father O'Hara from the Holy Spirit on Christmas Eve. Father O'Hara had no idea that his words would initiate the wheels of change here in our community. He had no idea. He was simply being a friend, reaching out, keeping me in his prayers, and sending a little love my way. Graduates, for all the things you're about to become in this world, become a friend to anyone who needs one. Allow your unmistakable spirit to nourish every person you meet in whatever way brings you the most joy. Of all the things you learned over the last four years, the most important is that you discovered what it takes to survive a global emergency. It does not take luck. It takes each other. You'll cross this stage to receive your degree today for hundreds of reasons, and every one of those reasons has a first and last name. No one crosses this stage alone. I want to acknowledge a few of the reasons why I'm here today. I'm here because of the support I receive every minute of every day from the love of my life, Dave, and my greatest teachers, my son Henry's who's here, and Jake who's streaming from Colorado. He will be quizzed later. <laughs> I'm here because of my parents, Maria and Richie Burns, who have been loving me from day one, and let me tell you that has not always been the easiest job in the world. I'm here because of the support of my sweet in-laws, Jim and Car Carmela Salingo, my brother Rick, and I have to tell you something, Rick promised me a thousand dollar donation to Fork Over Love today. If I shared Rodney Dangerfield's commencement speech from the movie, Back to School. <laughs> Graduates, it's a jungle out there. You gotta look out for number one, but not step in number two. I also want to share that I only agree with half of that advice, and it's not the part about looking out for number one. It is not that part. And last but certainly not least, I want to acknowledge that I'm here because of the team that brought and continues to bring Fork Over Love to life. Ruth Corcoran, Lindsey Griffin Boylan, Elizabeth Graham, Gertrude McGowan, class of 92, Melissa Perenni, Betty Cox Saxton, Kareen Salko, Heather Radel, God bless her, our only employee, as well as two members of the board that are here with me today, Carolyn McLaughlin-Smith and Timothy Lambert, class of 2015. 
They are some of the most compassionate, committed, intelligent leaders I have ever met. Together, we have rallied hundreds of donors, partners, and volunteers to nourish our community with the dignity and hot grace that only comes through a hot meal when it's needed most. I realize that you can't thank all of your reasons when you cross the stage today. And I also realize that Mr. Smith already asked you to stand up, but let's consider that a warm up. Can you please stand today and give them the outrageous, generous applause that everyone who's here and beyond who's helped you deserves. I look forward to all the ways that you will all transform our world into a better, brighter place. I wish you a path that is filled with courage, peace, and the love to make it so. And if you're not sure how to go about that, just ask for a sign tonight. Thank you. Tracy A. Salingo, communicator, motivator, humanitarian. The president and board of directors of King's College greet you in the name of the Lord. Born and raised in Luzerne County, Tracy Salingo has worked as a marketing and branding professional across agencies in New York and Philadelphia before returning home to Northeastern Pennsylvania to start her own business. She has served clients across higher education, digital technology, aviation, health, beauty, pharmaceutical, finance, and law. When COVID-19 had her two college-age sons taking classes at home, she gained a renewed appreciation for just how important sharing a warm meal was to stay connected with loved ones. Knowing that the economic hardship and uncertainty of the pandemic had deprived far too many other families of the same joy, Tracy was inspired to use her abilities to connect businesses and customers for the greater good. In January 2021, Tracy founded Fork Over Love, where she now serves as volunteer CEO. Fork Over Love is a nonprofit organization that connects two groups of people severely impacted by the pandemic local businesses that are coping with staffing shortages and price increases, and food insecure residents who struggle to find quality meals for their families. For over two years, this organization has supported family-owned restaurants to provide hot, nutritious meals that are distributed in person at events across the county or through DoorDash home delivery. Fork Over Love also reaches out to working class families and students who need assistance but might not qualify for food pantries or are deterred because of the perceived stigmas of asking for help. To date, Fork Over Love has served nearly 44,000 dinners and reinvested over $430,000 in our local restaurant economy. Its growing network includes more than 82 restaurants, 100 host locations, 200 volunteers, and more than 50 nonprofit and faith based collaborators, all of which are supported by the generous financial contributions of private individuals, corporate sponsors, and foundations. Tracy holds a Master of Arts in Advertising from the SI Newhouse School of Public Communication at Syracuse University and a Bachelor of Arts in Communication from the University of Scranton. She brought her wealth of academic and professional talents to King's students when she served as an assistant technical professor in the mass communications department in 2007, and later as the chair of the department. In addition to being part of a dedicated group of volunteers, 
Tracy is a dedicated mother to Jake and Henry. She currently lives in Shavertown, Pennsylvania with her husband Dave, a member of the King's class of 1989 and former board member, and their dog Tuck. Tracy's devotion to serving those in need and her support of struggling businesses and families resonates closely with our mission of forming graduates who will champion the inherent dignity of every person and mobilize their skills and talents to serve the common good. As a mark of esteem and recognition, therefore, the President and Board of Directors of King's College do this day create and proclaim Tracy A. Salingo, Doctor of Humanities, Honoris Causa, in memorial and in testimony whereof they have issued these, their formal letters patent, at King's College in the city of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, this 19th day of May, in the year of our Lord, 2023, and the 77th year since the founding of the college in 1946. Reverend Thomas P. Looney, CSC, PhD, President. Those who are to receive a Master of Education degree, please rise. Through the legal authority vested in King's College and upon the recommendation of the faculty and the fulfillment of stated requirements, the degree of Master of Education is conferred on these approved candidates. You may be seated. Those who are to receive a Master of Science degree, please rise. Through the legal authority vested in King's College and upon the recommendation of the faculty and the fulfillment of stated requirements, the degree of Master of Science is conferred on these approved candidates. You may be seated. Those who are to receive a Bachelor of Arts degree, please rise. Through the legal authority vested in King's College and upon the recommendation of the faculty and the fulfillment of stated requirements, the degree of Bachelor of Arts is conferred on these approved candidates. You may be seated. Those who are to receive a Bachelor of Science degree, please rise. Through the legal authority vested in King's College and upon the recommendation of the faculty and the fulfillment of stated requirements, the degree of Bachelor of Science is conferred on these approved candidates.
You may be seated. Those who are to receive a Bachelor of Science Business Administration degree, please rise. Through the legal authority vested in King's College and upon the recommendation of the faculty and the fulfillment of stated requirements, the degree of Bachelor of Science Business Administration is conferred on these approved candidates. You may be seated. At this time, we will introduce all the graduates, including those who are unable to attend today's ceremony. Those in attendance will walk across the stage when their names are called. The Master of Education degree with a major in Curriculum and Instruction has been conferred upon Jessica J. Badamo, Kenneth R. Bryden III, Jessica Lynn D'Angelo, <laughs> Catalin George Fifia, yeah. Bethany M. Gagas, Abigail M. Graver, Wendy Fenn Greenwood, Anna Christine Ketchmarski. Kimberly A. Klinger, Caitlin A. Cochis, Sean Elizabeth Loyak, Aiden Christopher Lynn, Michelle Marie Opila. Samantha Pasternak, Joshua L. Sorber, Elizabeth Spindler, Mackenzie K. Yori. Master of Education degree with a major in reading has been conferred upon Rachel E. Fratello, <laughs> Teresa Gallus, Brandon Allen Hampton, Regina Michelle Matarazzo, Karen E. Matrone, Taylor A. Yenchik. Gabrielle Marie Tomachik, Erica Wanger, Cody Lee Wittick, The Master of Education degree with a major in reading, Orton Gillingham, has been conferred upon Renee F. Baldwin, Emily Contini, Mackenzie Page Kennedy, Julie C. Mayfield, Christina M. Richard. The Master of Education degree with a major in special education has been conferred upon Michelle Ann McLaurin. The Master of Education degree with a major in Special Education, Orton Gillingham, has been conferred upon Aaron J. Brown, Laurie A. Marcotte, Sandra A. Marr, Tonya Leola Nail.
The Master of Science degree with a major in athletic training has been conferred upon Chelsea B. Castilleja. Caitlin Mary Fulton, recipient of the Distinguished Achievement Award in Athletic Training. Wyatt Catherine Hoffman. Zachary J. Lang. Shangru Adam Guan. The Master of Science degree with a major in Healthcare Administration has been conferred upon Omar Farid Allen. <laughs> Jacob M. Bainbridge. Courtney R. Browning. Nicholas J. Callahan. Brianna Colana Dalter. Arena Correa Ordonones. Victoria R. Downing. Shannon Rose Drevich. Logan J. Flugo. Ryan J. Gorski. Kyle Stephen Graham. Reese Daniel Hamager. Stephen Coppola Hood. Jennifer Lynn Yastremski. Michelle L. Lackey. Nathan Lauer. Mia Francesca Malatesi. Gabriella Hope Medina. Eric J. Menninger. Terry Lynn Marola. Nicholas A. Miller. Avery J. Murphy, Braden Baker Ott, Myron N. Romanchik, Katie Morgan Stroll, Gabriel Van Such, Allison Lee Wade, Joel Williams, Stacy A. Zelinka. And the Master of Science degree with a major in Nutrition Science has been conferred upon Caitlin Daniela Truman. Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in communications has been conferred upon George Beck III, cum laude. Joseph Graybeal, cum laude. Tabitha Stevens Kenzikoski. Melissa Rose Klecker, magna cum laude. Recipient of the Father Murgosh Memorial Award for Communications. Jake J. Miscavige, cum laude.
Genevieve Purcell, magna cum laude. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in criminal justice has been conferred upon Arlie Aguilar Cruz with a second major in psychology. Saeed Salem Oguthmi with a second major in sociology. Jenna R. Angadi. Mary Margaret Arcuri, cum laude. Claudia J. Buffuno. Ryan Thomas Bixler, cum laude. Recipient of the Department of the Army ROTC Distinguished Military Graduate Award. Joseph V. Davis. Santino Di Pasquale. Bryce Hunter Dragna with a second major in sociology. Declan Scott Evans. Gabriel William Fatizi. Terrell Divine Fields. Grace Margaret Fitzgerald. Jonathan Avery Hines, cum laude. William G. Bronick with a second major in sociology. Dylan R. Kelly, magna cum laude. Matthew C. Leahy with a second major in sociology. <clears throat> Carissa Grace Light. Anthony Jude Macko, cum laude. Recipient of the Department of the Army, ROTC Distinguished Military Graduate Award. Joshua Andrew Mead. Kyle John Prescavage, cum laude, with a second major in sociology. Rachel Reyes Estrada. Joshua Rivera. Tyler Ronald Sager, cum laude. Nicholas Anthony Skipsey. Bailey C. Slacktish with a second major in sociology. Savannah Jewel Stocker, cum laude, with a second major in sociology. Chelsea Nicole Towns. Mike Joseph Vesic, with a second major in sociology. Matthony Anthew, uh, Matthew Anthony Wall with a second major in sociology. Dylan Robert White, with a second major in sociology. Trevor James Witzel, with a second major in sociology. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in economics has been conferred upon Olivia Marie Berry, summa cum laude, with a second major in management, international business, and recipient of the William G. McGowan School of Business Achievement Award for International Business. Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in Educational Studies has been conferred upon Andre Argetta. Alexis Paisia. Magdalena S. Toledo. Sarah Ann Marie Weitzel 
recipient of the King's College Educational Studies Excellence in Academics Award. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in Education, Math 4 through 8, has been conferred upon Leonardo J. Brennan with a second major in Special Education. Elizabeth Morgan Kravitz, cum laude, with a second major in Special Education, PK-12, recipient of the Dr. Adam Dreyer Award for Demonstrated Excellence in the Teacher Education Program. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in Education has been conferred upon Oksana Alia Barshevitz, cum laude, with a second major in special education, PK-12. Paige Elizabeth Groschel, with a second major in special education, PK-12. Maisael Alberto Hernandez, with a, spe with a second major in special education, PK-12. Christina Elizabeth Keithley, summa cum laude. Sydney Lee Leonard, with the second major in special education, PK-12. Abigail Marie Nee, with a second major in special education, PK-12. Renee Emily Reinheimer, summa cum laude, with a second major in special education, PK-12. <laughs> Haley Lynn Samsell, magna cum laude, with a second major in special education, PK-12. Megan Amber Small, magna cum laude. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in English, secondary education, has been conferred upon Abby Jane Boncheski, summa cum laude, with a second major in Spanish, recipient of the Vincent D. Garvey Jr. Memorial Award for English. Jonathan Ivancho, magna cum laude. Angelina Yolanda Falcone, magna cum laude, and recipient of the Robert A. Lodge Memorial Award for Graduate Study. Angelina Rose Marcosi. Jessica Hope Smalley. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in Environmental and Sustainability Studies has been conferred upon Stephen Michael Zanker. Dakota C. Franklin. John Olin Schaefer. Emily Rose Tisco. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in general studies has been conferred upon Gerald Luke Brady. Danielle Loren Sassente.
The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in history has been conferred upon Ryan M. Coloma. Yeah! 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 Noah Aiden Krabitzer, summa cum laude, with a second major in theology, recipient of the Christ the King Award for Theology and recipient of the award of the Bishop Hafey Assembly Fourth Degree Knights of Columbus for History. Bobby Zielinski, yeah! recipient of the King's College Military Leadership Award. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in history secondary education has been conferred upon Jared M. Fulganiti, cum laude, recipient of the Donald W. Farmer Memorial Award for History, and Hannah Catherine Marinich, magna cum laude. Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in mathematics has been conferred upon Kirsten M. Grieco, magna cum laude, with a second major in accounting, the recipient of the Reverend James E. Klein Award for Mathematics. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in mathematics secondary education has been conferred upon Maria Cristina Perez. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in political science has been conferred upon Shelby Allison Carr, summa cum laude, recipient of the John P. Moses Award for Public Law. Christian Hernandez, cum laude, recipient of the Temple B'nai B'rith Award for Public Administration. Avery Mastrandrea, Nicolas Aiden Montez with a second major in professional writing. Ivy Liliana Vasquez, cum laude, with a second major in professional writing. Maximilian Colby Zade, summa cum laude, recipient of the John F. Kennedy Award for Political Science and the Honorable Frank L. Panola Award for the Pursuit of Law. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in professional writing has been conferred upon Emily Renee Miller, magna cum laude, with a second major in marketing and recipient of the William G. McGowan School of Business Achievement Award for Marketing. Kevin Patrick Temple. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in psychology has been conferred upon Grace Elizabeth Connor, cum laude. Sarah May Doherty. Miranda Hutchins, magna cum laude, with a second major in sociology, with a third major in criminal justice. April Kashmir, magna cum laude, with a second major in sociology. Theodore Elias West, with a second major in criminal justice. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in Spanish has been conferred upon Sarah Jesse High School Mann, summa cum laude, recipient of the Dorothy Day Volunteer Award in recognition of four years of service, recipient of the Josephine T. Moran Foreign Language Award. Aronson B. Perez Quesada, Thomas Rock, magna cum laude. The 
a Bachelor of Arts degree with a ma major in Spanish K-12 has been conferred upon Nicole Denise Brito Polanco, cum laude, Anna Rose Elizabeth McLaughlin, cum laude. The Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in theater has been conferred upon John Paul Barrera, magnum cum laude recipient of the Marie F. Luxick Memorial Award for Theater. Ellie Danielle Freeman, recipient of the Danielle Ruiz Murphy Award for an exceptional student. Brandon W. Litzy. Bachelor of Arts degree with a major in theology has been conferred upon Jacqueline Marco, magna cum laude, recipient of the highest academic achievement presented to an adult student learner in continuing higher education. Bachelor of Science degree with a major in athletic training has been conferred upon Tommy Soryavong. The Bachelor of Science degree with a major in biology has been conferred upon Baraa Damra. Allison Carmen Devers. Russell Claire Dyson. Brian Eames. Gabriella Marie Evans. Ogans Glaude. <laughs> Nicholas Katolka, Magna Cum Laude. Nicholas V. Maffetone. Daniela Conchetta Mangiapane, cum laude. Michael Leonard Mechadon. David A. Niles, Jr. Macy Reskovich, magna cum laude. Kinara Risher, Johnny Joseph Rivera, Jr. Colby Ryan Rupenkamp. Nishan Maya Springer. Samantha Varner, Aaron Michelle Williams, magna cum laude, recipient of the Regina Award for Biology.
The Bachelor of Science degree with a major in chemistry has been conferred upon Anna Grace Kukla, recipient of the Reverend James J. Sheenan Memorial Award in Chemistry. The Bachelor of Science degree with a major in Computer and Information Systems has been conferred upon Frank Joseph Kutz. Jesse Lutz, magna cum laude, recipient of the award for Computer and Information Systems. Vincent Gabriel Sando. Alexander Logan Salon, cum laude. Michael Daniel Cesera. The Bachelor of Science degree with a major in Computer and Information Systems Business has been conferred upon Colin Jeffrey DeLuggish, magna cum laude and recipient of the award for Computer and Information Systems Business. Jacob Joseph Noon. Bruce Michael Propes. The Bachelor of Science degree with a major in Computer Science has been conferred upon Matthew Emilio, Theodore Michael Brush, Sean T. Crane, magna cum laude, Seth Dennis Falvey, Ian Joseph, Alexa Noon, Nathaniel Stephen Plaspol, summa cum laude, with a second major in mathematics, recipient of the Lee Swineberg Jr. Memorial Award for Computer Science, and Quentin Joseph Zieger Cortez. The Bachelor of Science with a major in Civil Engineering has been conferred upon Hannah Grace Bowers. Christian James Lynn. Kenneth Jude Macko Jr. with a second major in Physics. Michael Macri. Jacob Daniel Schuster, magna cum laude. The Bachelor of Science degree with a major in mechanical engineering has been conferred upon Tara Rose Benda, summa cum laude, with a second major in physics. Brenton Matthew Cassium, with a second major in physics. <laughs> Alyssa Cassatt. <laughs> Michael Thomas Dowling. <laughs> Michael Eugene Gaduli. Robert Francis Kuznicki with a second major in criminal justice. J. 
John William Maben Jr. Samir Hassan Mir. Nathan Adam Noggle. The Bachelor of Science degree with a major in environmental and ecological sciences has been conferred upon Gabrielle Rose White, summa cum laude. The Bachelor of Science degree with a major in exercise science has been conferred upon Jared T. Bailey. Morgan Elizabeth Briggs. Gabriella Marie Conforti, magna cum laude. William Jacob Devers. William Patrick Grace, cum laude. Joseph G. Herman III, cum laude. Caroline Rose Keeler. Alexa Ray Cavalli. Seth M. Lakey. Bailey Ann Loyak. Haley Ann Lyons. Seth Christopher Macy. Darren Marte. Charles E. McCall. Elias P. Neidhart. Caitlin Marie Peacock. Gustav Petruski IV, magna cum laude. Kendall Maria Ryan. Gabrielle Logan Visconti. Kaylin Wilson. Bachelor of Science degree with a major in general studies has been conferred upon Edward Miller. <laughs> Nicholas Zarola. Bachelor's of Science degree with a major in Mathematics Business has been conferred upon Brandon Cohen. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree with a major in Medical Studies Life Science has been conferred upon Vincenza Rose Grilletto. <laughs> Alexis Mica. Austin, Justin Andrew McMillan. Bachelor of Science degree with a major in medical studies has been conferred upon Alexa Christina Andruzzi, magna cum laude. Addison Grace Atkins, cum laude. Madison Lynn Bennett, magna cum laude. Jordan Kathleen Bat, cum laude. Liza Rose Bavilia, cum laude. Noelle Elizabeth Boucher. Angelina Marie Broga. Joelle Olivette Burke, summa cum laude. Haley Lynn Booth, cum laude. Grace Joy Dacey, magna cum laude.
Kristen Jennifer Dubkowski, cum laude. Jillian Maria Dari, summa cum laude. Danielle Elizabeth Doherty, magna cum laude. Autumn Paige Dragovitz, summa cum laude. Angela S. Eckert, cum laude. Grady Thomas Egan, cum laude. Sarah Fleischer, magna cum laude. Julia Rose Fershetti, cum laude. Mary Elizabeth Geary, magna cum laude. Sarah Rose Graham, cum laude. Ashley Gutierrez. Hannah Joan Harvey, cum laude. Alex Heckman, summa cum laude. Fernando de Jesus Hernandez Alvarez. Matthew Thomas Hysor, cum laude. Diana Daria Jarkovic, Jarkovic, I'm sorry, cum laude. Brianna Faith Correcian, magna cum laude. Earl Cotwell, cum laude. Amanda Paige Kukas, summa cum laude. Jillian Michelle Kramlick, magna cum laude. Corinne A. Lena, summa cum laude. Carly Ray, Ray Lavery, cum laude. Rachel Holly Lenker, magna cum laude. Sarah Margaret Lucas, cum laude. Nicole Christine Mares, cum laude. Devin McCarthy with a second major in Spanish. Julia Emma Medina Romo, cum laude. Victoria Lynn Mormon, cum laude. Casey Shannon Mulligan, cum laude. Cameron Page Nicholas, magna cum laude. Alexandria Nicole Noting, magna cum laude. Amanda Nolan, summa cum laude. Megan Rose Nuccio, cum laude. Oluwatomi C. Alasimbo, cum laude. Marta Carolina Paca, magna cum laude. Cameron Taylor Penn, cum laude. Lauren Elizabeth Pollock, magna cum laude. Tyler R. Prince, cum laude. Danielle Marie Prudente, magna cum laude. Rachel Jane Richard, summa cum laude. Mackenzie Rose Rakovich, cum laude. Sydney Susan Ryan, cum laude, with a second major in Spanish. Kyle Anthony Saylor, cum laude. Amelia Serafin, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Faith Sherman, magna cum laude, with a second major in neuroscience. Sydney Elena Solier, summa cum laude. Jared Stephen Stephen, summa cum laude. Sean Patrick Taylor, cum laude. 
Alfina Rose Toparut, magna cum laude, with the second major in Spanish and recipient of the Reverend George P. Benaglia Language Award. Sage Laughlin Toth, cum laude. Lala Troora, cum laude. Emily Marie Tripp, cum laude. Caitlin Daniela Truman, cum laude. Judith Brooke Tofel, cum laude. Samantha Volpe, magna cum laude. Serena May Rayblick, cum laude. Elizabeth Rose Wagner. Emily Wall, summa cum laude. Megan Taylor Walsh, magna cum laude. Rachel Lynn Woomer, magna summa cum laude. Crystal Juventi, cum laude, with the second major in Spanish. Amina Fatima Zaidi, cum laude. Bachelor of Science degree with a major in neuroscience has been conferred upon Jordan Carmela Beck. Camden Lloyd Boris. Maritza Shalon Colon with a second major in psychology. Carlene Nicole Pavelko, cum laude. Bryn Lee Pike. Gabriella Sue Purificado. Paul Anthony Seesock. Magna Cum Laude, recipient of the Dr. Paul Lawrence and Attorney Marian Bucaferni Best in Science Award. Colby Spencer, with a second major in psychology. Talia Traversa, Miles Joseph Wagner, the Bachelor of Science degree with a major in nursing has been conferred upon Andrea Marie Bowman. Celia G. Medina. Carly Ann Trapani. The Bachelor of Science degree with a major in nursing, RN to BSN, has been conferred upon Mario Gian Benares Adahar IV, Mario Elias Benares Adahar III, Alicia P. James, Rachel Mary Cerniak. The Bachelor of Science degree with a major in physics has been conferred upon Elizabeth Bellinger, summa cum laude, with a second major in electrical engineering from Washington University in St. Louis. Samuel Joseph Cadman, magna cum laude, with a second major in civil engineering from the University of Notre Dame. Ryan Christopher Candelori, with a second major in mechanical engineering from the University of Notre Dame. Nicholas James Holland, with a second major in mechanical engineering from the University of Notre Dame. Evan David Judge. Dylan Riley Shaver. Magna Cum Laude, with a second major in mechanical engineering from the University of Notre Dame. Matthew John Spaludo, with a second major in mechanical engineering from the University of Notre Dame.
The Bachelor of Science degree with a major in psychology has been conferred upon Daniel Aguilar, magna cum laude. Kira Michelle Booth. Sheila Chalico Andrade. Jared Matthew Kishbaugh Korch. Olivia Evelyn Krupski. Jordan Edward Mailer. Caitlin Grace Plagg. Christopher Edward Rossi, summa cum laude, recipient of the Grace Coakley Brooks Award for Excellence in Psychology. Sarah A. Rudneski. And Victoria Loretta Zureb, cum laude. The Bachelor of Science Business Administration degree with a major in accounting has been conferred upon Eric Aguaro, summa cum laude. Joseph Raymond Alcini, cum laude. Michael Amato, with a second major in marketing. Raphael Amegon, with a second major in management finance. Aziz Abraham Atea. Summa cum laude, and the recipient of the Carney and Company Department of Accounting Outstanding Achievement Award. Matthew James Beecham. Darius D. Bermudez Vicasia, summa cum laude, and the recipient of the John T. Stapleton Memorial Award for Accounting. Troy Chalkin, cum laude, with a second major in management business administration. Colin S. Cook, cum laude. Anthony M. Dadio. Antonio Alexander Denisco. Hannah Doran. Sean James Dune, cum laude. Hannah Marie Farr, cum laude, with a second major in management finance. David Joshua Gugliotti, cum laude. Emma Kylie Hart. <laughs> Penelope Malagros Hernandez Antigua, cum laude. Marilee Herrera de Jesus. Poet Philip Holbrook, cum laude, with a second major in management human resources. James Ronald Hunter. Garrett Keister. Lauren Lee Kelly, cum laude. Trahan Anthony Krupinski. Allison Lacomis, magna cum laude.
Marie, uh, my apologies, Mary Madeline Ludis, magna cum laude, with a second major in business administration, the recipient of the John F. Curley CPA Award for Accounting Achievement, and the recipient of the Accounting Association Award in memory of Chris Carmonic, and the recipient of the St. Andre Bessett Award for Service in the Spirit of the Congregation of Holy Cross. Stephen Lucas, magna cum laude. Richard Jofus Madden. Henry Anthony Mago, summa cum laude, with a second major in management finance, and the recipient of the William G. McGowan School of Business Achievement Award for Finance. Jared Michael Marsala. Hunter Masters with a second major in management finance. Kyle J. Modzienski. Abigail Rose Potoski. Connor Qualia with a second major in management, healthcare administration. Nicholas Stephen Richards, summa cum laude. Chase Michael Reinheimer. Nicholas Rubino. Kaylee Alice Serbin, magna cum laude. Brian Daniel Steffens. Kaylee Sterling. Francesca R. Treslar. Nicole Claire Truella. Courtney Elizabeth Wartella. Isabella Helen Wido, Vivian Irene Williams, magna cum laude, Ty Yellen, Sarah Ann Zalepa, cum laude, Nancy Zhang. Nina Marie Zola, magna cum laude. Victoria Rooney. The Bachelor of Science Business Administration degree with a major in Management Business Administration has been conferred upon Laitai Alashemi, John Thomas Berry, Logan Michael Buglio, Mia Riley Dixon, Matthew James Evans, Tyler Aiden Fox, Sean Gordon Fisher with a second major in marketing and cum laude, Owen Paul Foglietta, Christopher J. Hertz, Robert Liam Johnson, Samir Khan, Hunter Thomas Landon, George William Lenhart IV, 
Wesley Allen Matias, Owen Seth Metzger, Patrick H. Noon, Cody Noon, Joseph R. Petrillo, Devin Stanley Riza, James Patrick Ryan, Keely Shea Sains, summa cum laude with a second major in accounting, recipient of the William G. McGowan School of Business Achievement Award for Management, Robert John Sheehan, Jared Smith, and Waldo Vergara. The Bachelor of Science Business Administration degree with a major in Management Entrepreneurship has been conferred upon Alexandra Ro Rosalind Veronica Greaves, Elizabeth Ann Link, Hunter Allen Locke, and Kevin A. Pizniak. The Bachelor of Science in Business Administration degree with a major in Management Finance has been conferred upon Abdulaziz S. Alyami, David John Crowley, Sean Gregory Gunari, William Lowry McIntosh, Samuel Schmidt, <laughs> Kayla Ashley Sonberg, Vincent Christopher Zespico IV, Michaela Ann Ward, Morgan Witzinski. The Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration with a major in Health and Management, Healthcare Management has been conferred upon Muhammad Al Shabrak, Catherine Rulan, <laughs> Natalie Nicole Olivio, Olivo Padilla, with a second major in Human Resource Management. Rosanna Ivelisse Pazquevas. Alyssa Marie Weibel. The Bachelor of Science Business Administration degree with a major in Management Human Resources have been conferred upon Nusrat Ahmed, summa cum laude, with a second major in Management Healthcare Management, recipient of the William G. McGowan School of Business Achievement Award for Human Resources Management. Lydia Marie Amen. <laughs> Tiffany Alexandra Augusto, Madden Cum Laude. Gabrielle James Gillespie, Madden Cum Laude. Jacqueline Marie Huber, Cum Laude with a second major in management, healthcare management. Dominic Joseph Marchese, summa cum laude, with a second major in accounting, recipient of the Kearney and Company Department of Accounting Outstanding Achievement Award, recipient of the S. Idris Lay Memorial Award for the highest academic achievement. Randy Polino Munoz, Julia Ann Sabo, cum laude. Rachel 
Julia Walker, Madam Cum Laude. The Bachelor of Science Business Administration degree with a major in Management International Business has been concurred upon Abdul Majid Al Muteri, <laughs> Joyce Patricia Chalarka, <laughs> Stacy M. Medina, <laughs> Jacob Michael Monahan. Zachary R. Satolino, and Jacob has a second major in marketing. The Bachelor of Science Business Administration degree with a major in marketing has been conferred upon Olivia Therese Astolfi, Siobhan Elizabeth Frank, recipient of the All College Award. Jeremy Huffman, Michael Karasinski, Caleb Joshua Kinsey, Robin E. Knight, Emma Grace Noel, cum laude, Liam Michael Martinchek, Victoria Karena Martinelli, Brendan A. Mozaleski, Sean Patrick Murphy with a second manager in, in management business, business administration, Joseph Pedro Plachinski, and Dana Lee Sebastianelli. Wow, can you feel the love for the graduates? Look at that. You've got a lot of supporters out there, and congratulations. Now, earlier I welcomed you, the class of 2023, as the chair of the board of directors. But now, I have the distinct honor to welcome you as a peer, as a fellow King's College alumni. Now, we all know there's something special about kings, and I'm not compelled to say that because of my role, but understand it as a graduate myself. I want you to remember that you're part of an incredible family and network that is here to support you as you navigate that road ahead. Remaining connected to your alma mater can take many shapes, all of which are rewarding. Continue to take advantage of the resources from career planning. Update your professors and mentors about your professional and personal milestones. Help spread our mission with potential monarchs by giving testimonials about your successes. Attend alumni events like homecoming or travel abroad with your former classmates. Pay it forward to future graduates by coming back to mentor them or hiring them in your organizations. Don't forget the spirit of our community 
in giving back to others and serving the common good. Carry that with you in all that you endeavor. Congratulations, class of 2023, and welcome to our alumni family. Thank you. Okay, as we bring this to a close, at this time I would like to welcome to the podium the 10th president of King's College, Reverend Thomas P. Looney, PhD, CSC. Father Tom. Dear graduates, on behalf of the Board of Directors, Administration, faculty and staff of King's College, congratulations. By your accomplishments, you have brought honor to King's College, to your family and friends, and to yourselves. Our congratulations are offered with a profound sense of respect, for you have navigated the challenging and demanding work of obtaining a college degree amid a worldwide pandemic. Undergraduates, you were sent home by the pandemic in the spring of your first semester, returned for a hybrid and safe distance life for your sophomore year. You battled it all. You have come through victorious. You have a spirit of determination and of grit. We honor and applaud you this day, for you are truly monarchs. Your classmate, Anthony Mako, gave you a wonderful image of the light to dispel the darkness. And Tracy Salingo, our honorary degree recipient, gave a wonderful image of the divine spirit that dwells within each of you. A third metaphor to take you on your journey today. Blessed Basil Moreau, the founder of the Congregation of Holy Cross, taught that education was a work of resurrection. Education is a portal, a doorway to new life a transformed life. Catholic higher education is meant, if you will, to open pathways to human flourishing, a flourishing in which the good of the individual is inseparable from the good of the community, a flourishing that is marked by a commitment to the pursuit of truth, especially about the dignity of every human person. King's College began as a work of resurrection, to provide an opportunity for new life for the sons of coal miners and has remained a work of resurrection ever since. In the King's College mission statement, we announce this vision of education as resurrection in a variety of ways. First, we claim that our education is a work of resurrection for it is characterized by personal attention to student formation in a nurturing community that relationships of mutual care and respect are the heart of human flourishing, wellsprings of new life. I hope that you have experienced Kings as a community in which you were personally known, valued, and cared for. And I pray that you will form communities of friendship, family, and neighbor, where everyone is respected and cared for, wherever the divine light will lead you. Second, we claim that our education is a work of resurrection for we teach our students not only how to make a living, but how to live. That the quality of our lives, our flourishing as people, is not based solely on what we're able to do or accomplish, but on the type of people we are and become in doing them. I hope that you have developed the skills for a lifelong career development and that your mind and your hearts have been transformed in the process. I pray that your career paths will provide you sustenance for life so that you might live the good life, the good life of moral integrity that alone will give you peace. Third, we claim that our education is a work of resurrection, for we form graduates to, to champion the inherent dignity of every human person to mobilize their professional skills and talents to serve the common good, that human flourishing is intimately linked to how we respect and care for one another. 
I hope that here at King's that you have learned ever more deeply that every human being is your sister and brother, and that even your own life is not all about you, not even on your commencement day, but it's about the good that you can do and be for others. I pray that you will always honor the gift of your own personal dignity, never surrender it under any circumstances, and that others will be blessed by your service, the service that your multiple talents and skills give you the opportunity to give. And fourth, we claim that our education is a work of resurrection, for the model of our education is Christ the King, who taught by example and ruled by love. That human flourishing requires that we seek to be fully and truly human, and at the heart of everything we do, that love, seeking the good of the other, is the true measure of a life well lived. I hope that you have found at King's a model for your life, someone whose example of love and of leadership has been characterized by self-emptying love. It may have been an admissions counselor, a facilities worker, a chaplain, a counselor, a professor, a healthcare worker, a food service provider, a coach, an advisor, or a mentor. Whoever it may have been, I hope that you have found someone whose life you would like to emulate, who is a model for you. And I pray that you will be daring enough, daring enough to live your life as a model for others, to be a person who will pour out your life in love for your sister or your brother. It will be a great blessing to them, and it will be, and it will be fulfillment and satisfaction for you. And so today, as you commence from King's, we have honored Tracy Salingo, Doctor of Humanities, and we hold her forth as a model for you to contemplate and imitate. For Tracy embodies in her personal and professional life the ideals that we hold forth for every King's graduate. For like Christ, she teaches by example and exercises leadership with love. Amid a world pandemic, she chose to champion the inherent dignity of every human person and to use her professional skills and talents to serve the common good by founding Fork Over Love. In Fork Over Love, she has formed a community of volunteers, restaurant owners, and personnel who collaborate in serving others in need within a setting of nurture and support. Tracy Salingo, a model for you a true monarch among us today. In its mission, Fork Over Love states this, we empower our people to change the narrative of food insecurity by feeding their neighbors like family so that all who are struggling can feel safe, secure, seen, and fed. Love is the currency that connects us. When we share it unconditionally, everyone benefits. The line I remember from Rodney Dangerfield is, go home, live off your parents. <laughs> but I don't want most of the people in this room to be really angry at me, so I didn't quote it. <laughs> Tracy Salingo, thank you for your words of wisdom. Thank you for inspiring us all. Thank you for being a model of a monarch. As we honor Dr. Tracy Salingo today and hold her forth as an exemplar of the King's College mission, it is also my privilege to announce members of our faculty and community who embody the King's College message and we wish to honor today. As I call their names, I would ask these members of our King's College community to stand. Dr. Aisha Ray, Professor of Political Science, the recipient of the Honorable Max and Tilly Rosen Award. <laughs> Dr. Joan Blewett, Professor of Business Administration, 
the recipient of the Reverend Donald J. Grimes CSC Award for Community Service. Dr. Robin Field, Professor of English. The recipient of the Manis Cooney Distinguished Service Professorship. Dr. Thomas Mackerman, Professor of History. The recipient of the John H. A. Whitman Distinguished Service Professorship. Dr. Michelle McGowan, Professor of Healthcare Administration. The recipient of the John S. Davis Distinguished Service Professorship. I also wish to acknowledge the bestowal of emeritus status upon three retired members of our King's College faculty. The Reverend Anthony Grasso of the Congregation of Holy Cross, retired professor of English. Mr. Mark Leffler, retired Angelo D. P. De Cesaris Executive in Residence. And Dr. James Wallace, Professor of English. At the heart of a King's College education is the reality of engaged mentorship faculty and staff who take an amazingly deep interest in the students that have been entrusted to our care. Long hours of labor, preparing classes, meeting students in office hours, working side by side in research projects, giving the gift of their wisdom from lives well lived. And so we have acknowledged your loved ones who have supported you throughout these days. So I would ask all the members of the King's College faculty and staff to stand and to receive the gratitude of all gathered here today. Faculty and staff, please stand. Each one of our graduates has been called by name, but some have received this day the acknowledgement of distinguished merit here at the college. So I'd ask those of you among the graduates who received distinguished awards today to please stand and to receive the accolades of your faculty, staff, families, and friends. Please stand. Please be seated. This morning, six members of our graduating class were commissioned as second lieutenants in the United States Army to preserve, protect, and defend the great country in which we all are privileged to share. I would ask those six graduates to please stand. At graduation 40 years ago, actor Martin Sheen delivered the commencement address. He asked that I deliver a message of prayer and of congratulations to the members of the class of 2023. And he entrusted this rosary to me that I might pray for you this day. And so I will do so. Martin Sheen gives you his congratulations, his best wishes, and his prayers. Dear graduates, I pray that you have experienced your education at King's as a work of resurrection, that new life dwells within your heart, a powerful new life that you wish to share with others by the professional work that you do, by the communities that you will build and be a part of, by the families that will be a part of your future life. I pray that your minds and your hearts have been transformed by your experience here, 
and that you have come to a place deep within your heart that you long to live with the deepest authenticity possible, that you long to be a light in the darkness, as Anthony suggested, that you follow the divine spirit within your heart that Tracy spoke of today. I pray that by the way that you live, you will continue to bring honor to yourselves, to your family and friends, and to King's College. By your graduation today, we send you forth. We bless you. We anoint you and pray the gift of God's spirit upon you. So graduates, go forth in joy, go forth in peace, go forth in the embrace of our patron, Christ the King. Please stand for the benediction and remain standing through the singing of the alma mater. Bow your heads for the blessing. May God who started this good work in you bring it to completion. May God give you grateful hearts to acknowledge the countless blessings of all those gathered around you today. May God give you the grace to make wise choices, to stay faithful to your commitments, and always be confident in the support of those who love you. May God bless you with life-giving relationships that will nurture and receive your countless gifts and help you to form communities that give hope to the world. May God bless you with a deep hunger for truth and a dissatisfaction at the injustices in the world so that your labors will help build up his kingdom. May God bless you with tenderness and mercy to believe in your mind and know in your heart that he is always with you. May your education here at King's College be a gift to the entire world. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. <laughs>